Here's what you can expect when your water service line is going to be replaced as part of Denver Water's lead reduction program. Service lines are the pipes that connect your home or business to the water main in the street. Customers own the service lines. Denver Water owns the water mains. Before work begins, Denver Water or one of our contractors will meet with you to review the service line replacement process. During this visit, we'll identify where your service line comes into your property. This is typically located on the street side of your house and down in the basement or crawl space. We'll also locate your water meter. This is typically found in the public right-of-way in front of your house near the street and sidewalk. In some cases, the water meter is located on the inside of your house. To prepare your house for construction, please move appliances, boxes, and other items to clear a path to the service line and water meter. This is so our crews have room to work and access to your internal plumbing. If your service line is located behind a wall or under the floor, you'll need to remove the obstruction so we can reach the pipe. There are three important things you'll need to know on the day of your service line replacement. First, your water service will be turned off for up to eight hours, so please plan accordingly. Second, the property owner or a designee who is 18 or older must be on site the entire time. Third, portions of your street will be closed from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., so you'll need to move your vehicles in the morning to give construction crews room to park. And remember, we may be doing several service line replacements on the same street, so construction equipment could be in your neighborhood for a few weeks. Service line replacement starts by using an excavator to dig a hole in the street. Crews will then use shovels to dig down to reach the water main. This is to locate where the old lead service line connects to the water main. We'll also dig a second hole around the water meter in your yard. This is another access point to reach the service line. Crews will then go inside your house. We'll use a side entrance or back door if possible and put down a cover to protect the floor. The pull-through technique is a common method to replace a lead service line. This involves disconnecting the old service line from the water main in the street. And then inside your house, crews will detach the service line from where it connects to your home's plumbing. We'll then feed a cable through the old service line and attach it to a coil of new copper pipe. The next step involves using an excavator on the street. The machine pulls the cable and the old lead service line through the ground. The new copper service line gets pulled through with it. Then workers connect the new copper line to the water main. In the directional boring technique, the old lead service line is left in the ground and abandoned. Crews will disconnect it from the water main and your home's plumbing so it can no longer be used. We'll then bring in a boring machine and park it on the edge of the property. Workers use this machine to bore a hole for the new service line. The boring machine drills until it reaches a designated location in the basement or crawl space. Crews attach the new copper service line to the drill and pull it back through the hole. Workers then connect the new line to the water main. We'll check all new connections to make sure they're secure. These techniques avoid having to dig a trench through your yard. However, there are some rare cases when digging a trench is required. The final step of the replacement process involves connecting the new copper service line to your indoor plumbing, and then sending water through the new pipe to your home. If your water meter was located inside your house, it will most likely be moved outside during construction. This will make it easier for us to access in the future. Our crews will try to minimize disturbances to your property, but it's possible that some bushes, tree roots, and grass will be impacted during construction. After the pipe replacement is done, we'll pour dirt back into the hole in your yard and cover up the new water meter. Then we'll restore the ground to its original surface level. A landscaping crew will come back and do additional restoration work if necessary. This includes new sod or reseeding if the grass was impacted. Timing of this work depends on the season. If irrigation lines were damaged, they will be repaired as part of the landscape restoration process. As for the street, construction crews will fill in the hole and then put down a temporary patch so the road is safe. 
A paving crew will come back later to do a permanent repair on the street. After pipe replacement, our crews will turn on your outside faucet. This will flush dirt and debris that got trapped in the new service line during construction. We'll need you to flush your inside pipes. This will also help remove debris and any leftover lead particles from your internal plumbing. Make sure to read our post-construction guide on how to flush your pipes correctly and clean your faucet aerators. We also have an instructional video available on denverwater.org lead. Before drinking out of your tap, we ask that you continue filtering your water for six months after the service line was replaced. You can continue using the water pitcher and filters provided by Denver Water. This is an added precaution to minimize the risk of lead exposure. Denver Water will also send you a testing kit about four months after the replacement work to verify that lead levels have been reduced in your home's drinking water. To learn more about our lead reduction program, go to denverwater.org lead or call 303-893-2444.